Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits. Inside of this video, I'm going to show you how to find and delete duplicate photos inside of a Lightroom catalog. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, so finding and deleting Lightroom duplicate photos. Why is this necessary? Well, maybe you've been in this position before where, like me, you import photos and you edit them for a wedding, let's say, and you do a few photos of your session off of the SD card and you just edit them really quickly. And then later on, you import the rest of your photos and you start editing them. But unfortunately, you wind up importing some photos a second time. Well, how do you identify where those photos are and actually figure out which ones are the originals, which ones are the edited photos so you don't lose the earlier edits that you do, that's kind of the reason that you'd want to do this. Now, inside of Lightroom, by default, there is not really a great solution for finding and deleting duplicate files, but there is a free plugin that you can add to Lightroom that I'm going to show you that will add this functionality, make it super easy to see all the different variations of that file on your system and inside your catalog, and really make it way easier to clean up and delete duplicate files inside of Lightroom. Are you ready? Okay, so first off, we're going to head, I'll put this link in the description below, but to lightroompluggins.com and we're going to click on duplicate finder and we're going to download the version for whatever computer you need. So I'm going to download it on Mac here. Once it has finished downloading, we're going to open up that zip file. Perfect. And we have here our find dupes to Lightroom plugin. Okay. And there's also a PDF that will walk you through kind of how to set it up, how to use it if you want more documentation, but I'm going to go into Lightroom here and we're going to go down from file to plugin extras or plugin manager rather. And we're just going to add this plugin. We're going to hit add. We're going to navigate to where I downloaded that plugin right over here. Click add plugin. And then you can set it up uh, inside of here. So I'm not going to bother with registering this or doing anything like that. I'm just going to use it and show you how it works. So we're going to hit done here. And I'm going to quit Lightroom and restart it just to make sure that it has properly initiated that plugin. Now it looks like already we've got it showing up here. We've got this find duplicates plugin, little walkthrough. We're going to reopen Lightroom here. And we will find and delete our duplicates. So, okay, so we go into our library. We're going to hit library up here, go down where it says plugin extras and select find duplicates too. When we do that, we can select from a variety of different filters, which this plugin will then use to determine which photos are duplicates and which are not. So for example, if we check all of these, it's going to look for any duplicates in time, in lens, in ISO rating, camera serial. And if it meets all of these criteria, they match across multiple photos with all of these different things, well then it assumes, okay, those two photos are a duplicate. So we're going to just leave it as is. I just uncheck date slash time because when I actually imported these photos the second time, I had changed the uh, capture time. So that would throw things off. We're just going to hit okay here. And you can see that it's going through. It's found 26 matches in 11 sets. Okay, perfect. We're going to hit okay here and you can ignore that pop-up window. You can see that now we have a smart collection over here on the left of our library. If I expand collections, we have the smart collection called duplicate photos. And if we expand that, we can actually sort from all duplicates, those photos with the least editing, those with the most. So we can determine, okay, we have duplicate photos. I've spent a lot of time editing certain ones. Okay, well, those are going to be the ones with the most edits. And then likewise, the ones with the least edits, and we can go by import date, by megapixels, by all sorts of things. And the reason that all of these things are helpful is, for example, if I go back to my main grid here, okay, and I were to press the J key on my keyboard, it'll toggle on some extra information about the files. And the reason that this is helpful is sometimes you might have multiple copies of a photo, but one is a JPEG, one is a RAW, one is um, a large file, one is a smaller file. So the resolution might be different, the file type might be different, whether it's a DNG, a RAW file, a JPEG. And so this way, when we actually go into our duplicate section and we select our all duplicates, we can actually see when we have our duplicates in front of us, if they're the same. So you'll notice that on this one, the resolution is slightly different. On this photo, we have 5472 by 3648. On this one, it's 5383 by 3589. Now, because they're both raw files, I know that that's just because this one has actually been cropped in. And so you're going to see that that's the reason for the difference. It's just one has been cropped in from the other. 
Let's say that one was actually a JPEG file, or one was a smaller JPEG, one was a larger JPEG. Well, obviously, we want to keep the best file we can for the future, so we would want to delete the smaller file, right? Okay, so basically, I'm going to go back to my collection settings here. We'll hit grid G on my keyboard to go to the grid view, and I can go through and determine which of these photos I want to keep, um, just one at a time, or I can select based on the ones that have the least editing. I could select all of those. I could then delete them from the library, and that would be that. So that is how you sort duplicates inside of Lightroom. So once we know which photos we want to delete, well, it's really going to be as simple as tagging them in such a way that we can sort them outside of the Smart Collection, because if I try to delete them inside of here, it's not going to let me. Lightroom doesn't let you delete photos directly from a Smart Collection. So what we need to do is tag these photos. Let's say they're the ones I want to delete. We can do that in a multiple different ways. We can simply assign them a number, say anything. We set the rating to 2, and then we go back to our All Photographs and sort to rating equals 2. So we'll go here, and we'll set the rating to be exactly equal to and then we have those photos in front of us. Another way to do that is we could also assign them a color. So using the six, seven, eight, nine keys on your keyboard, we can assign them a color, assuming that we haven't done that already with other photos in our collection, or we can even add a keyword. So we could maybe assign a label to all of these and call them delete. And then later on, we can actually apply this to all of these photos and then sort by that metadata and delete those photos out of there. So that's how you do that. Now, one thing that you might be wondering is, okay, let's say that I have multiple copies of different sessions on my hard drives, and I just want to clear it out. I don't want to have multiple copies of every single image, three or four copies. I just want one copy of this image in one place on my hard drive. How do I do that? Well, you can do something like that simply by going to your catalog and making a brand new catalog or using the same one, whichever you prefer. We would go and we would just import photos from wherever we suspect there might be duplicates. So go to your import dialog and navigate to where those photos are. And instead of hitting don't import suspected duplicates, we'd make sure that this box is unchecked because we actually want to import all of the photos, including the duplicates, so then we can sort and delete the duplicates we no longer need. So you would uncheck that, import all of those photos, and go through the process as before. Now, that is exactly how you find and delete duplicates inside of Lightroom, whether those photos are in multiple folders or in just one folder in one session. You just need to make sure to import those photos into your catalog, run this duplicate finder plugin inside of Lightroom. It's free, easy to use, and then you can delete your photos. One final word of caution, uh, just make sure when you're actually doing this that you back up your session and you never delete something that you don't have access to later on uh, unless you're entirely sure that you have, in fact, just a duplicate on your hand. So for example, if I were to delete the wrong raw files and lose a bunch of edits attached to those files and have to re-edit all of the photos, that would be a mess. So what I personally would recommend is making a copy of the entire folder, putting it on a backup hard drive before you delete the duplicates, and then you have those photos no matter what. Likewise, if you're just deleting photos out of the Lightroom session, it's not as grave a risk. Um, obviously, you're not going to delete the actual files themselves. You're just removing duplicates from the session. Well, let me just navigate out of here for a second, go back to our grid view and all photographs. Let's say that I was just deleting a few fi files here out of the catalog instead of the actual deleting from disk. Well, what I would encourage you to do is first make a backup, a separate copy of this Lightroom catalog. To do that, just go to Finder, and we're going to navigate to wherever our Lightroom catalog is. I have it right here. I'm just going to right-click, duplicate. And we're just going to rename this Sean and Claire Backup. Okay, and then I can set the date, and today is the 26th. Right, and then that way, if I wind up making a mistake here, I delete a bunch of photos that I wish I hadn't, I just messed up, you can always fall back on your backup. That's one essential thing, especially if you're doing professional work, you have timelines and deadlines and you don't want to lose files, make sure you always have redundant backups that you really don't think you need, because sometimes you are going to need them. Hard drives fail, people make mistakes. Okay, you get the point. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you in figuring out how to find and delete um, duplicate photos inside of Lightroom. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. If it was extra helpful, make sure to subscribe for more great content, tutorials, and free resources. And please leave me a comment below. Do you have a different technique, a better way of finding duplicates? I'm always looking for better suggestions. I will see you in the next video. Peace.